all right so you're looking at the setup for our pwm build it's got the uh, forward reverse button and you got the potentiometer and i'm also going to add these uh two mini fans to cool that off both of them i'm going to add and we got our meter here see how much uh, power we're outputting and we got our connections ready so i'm just gonna set it up in this box the uh it's a junction box that i uh, bought from amazon got this clear cover case on there so we'll uh, drill some holes set it up and attach to our trolling motor all right All right guys, so we have completed our uh, project's power or pulse wave modulator for our trolling motor. So let me show you what we have done. And as you can see, there she is. I can turn this, uh, what do you call that? Meter on and off. There it is. Now when you plug in the PWM to the battery it automatically turns on it draws only 0 0.01 amp anyway so I'll turn it on you can see right there beautiful display it shows the voltage and the percentage and then also shows the temperature okay so another added item I did with my PWM as you can see is I installed a, what do you call that? Let me turn this, there. Um, fan motor to keep it cool, a dual fan motor. Hmm? And the uh, port for the connection to my motor and the battery goes, there's a port right there. And then you can see a beautiful display. I love that display. The potentiator knob and the forward and reverse button. So if you can see right here, when I turn on the potentiator, that's when you can see the fan turned on. Beautiful thing. If I turn off the potentiator, fan goes off. So Good thing is I didn't, I didn't want to keep it running all the time because it'll draw um, power on the battery. And uh, one thing I did, even though this box is supposed to be, um, you know, waterproof, I did install some vent holes. So you see right there. It's on top and it's angled so it's not going to draw in water just to keep the uh, temperature control. See, when they turn on the uh, potentiator, there's the fan running. You barely hear it. It's a beautiful thing. There. All right, so we're gonna put it on our kayak this weekend, take it out on the lake. Is our brand new PWM for our trolling motor. Burn the other one out. Beautiful thing. See that? When I'm turning on the power, I mean uh, turning up the dial on the potentiator. See how it changes the voltage meter. That's 100 um, or full power. See how it's drawing power from the battery. Changing the voltage. Beautiful.
and uh, I put on the temperature 16 degrees Celsius so I don't know how to change it to Fahrenheit but I'll look in the uh, manual see how I can do that but I like this part voltage meter see awesome right there turn it down boom and when I'm not using it I can just power this off excellent if I want to check the battery without turning on the pulse wave modulator or if I just turn on the potentiator it'll automatically oh no it doesn't uh, well when you connect the battery the first time it'll automatically turn on the voltage meter now you just power it on manually beautiful thing and then when I turn on the, the dial that's when the fan works all right we are ready we will post this up